Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about what will happen if we don't give any chamfer or fillet radius to sharp edges. So for this we have a standard uh, in ISO which is called as ISO 13715. In most of the drawings you would have seen a symbol like this. So in this video you will get an understanding of what this symbol means and how to interpret it when it is there in the drawing. So let's begin. As I said, the standard is 13715 ISO standard. Uh, according to this standard, either you can specify a symbol to control the edges or you can give it in the form of a general note. The symbol can be in the form of a general note. The symbol consists of these elements wherein the arrow will be pointing on to the edge. The edge can be a external edge or an internal edge and then the tolerance can be given in three positions either we can give it here to tell that the direction of the deviation is allowed in vertical direction. If you give the tolerance here then it tells that the tolerance deviation allowed is in horizontal direction. When we give the tolerance here then it can be on either directions. Along with this tolerance value, we can specify the plus and minus signs if we provide plus sign. For external edges, a burr is allowed. If it is internal edge, then a passing, that is a material is added to the sharp edge in the internal surfaces. If we provide minus, then an undercut is permitted, whether it is an external edge or an internal edge. We take a one by one in detail and then go in explaining it. So these are the different possibilities. This is a possibility where there can be a burr. In this case, the burr is in uh, horizontal direction. It can be in negative direction also. Here, this is an external edge with the material removed. It can be a chamfer, a flat surface or a fillet radius like this. These are examples of internal edges. Here it is nothing but it is called passing by. The geometry should have been a perfect line like this but a material is being added. It can be a flat surface like this or a curved surface like this or it can have an undercut like this. So we take external edges first as an example. So in this example plus 0.3 is given in the center. for the external edge which means that a burr positive sign tells that a burr is allowed and since the dimension is in the center it tells that either the burr can be horizontal or vertical like this. In this case if you see the tolerance value is exactly in line with the vertical line which means that the burr can be in vertical direction only. In this example, we have it in the horizontal direction, which tells us the burr is allowed only in horizontal direction. Here you see a minus sign, which means that undercut, that is material removal is permitted. So if we give like this, then 0.3 by 0.3 chamfer or, or 0.3 fillet radius is allowed. In some examples, we can see two tolerance values that means it specifies the limits which means that the chamfer can be from 0.1 to 0.5 similarly the fillet radius can be from 0.1 to 0.5 uh, here you come across an example where the tolerance are in both the directions that is you have a plus as well as minus that means if burr is there then the burr can be of size of 0.3 and it can be either horizontal or vertical like this. If it is a chamfer or a fillet then it should be 0.1 into 45 degrees for chamfer and R 0.1 for fillet radius. So any of this four is a possibility after manufacturing. Now let us discuss few of the examples for internal edges. So internal edge means uh, edge like this whatever you see here. In this if you see this minus then uh, undercut is permissible. The 0.3 is at the center which means you may end up with the undercut like this which is there on both the directions positive vertical direction and horizontal direction. 
or it can be only in vertical direction or it can be only in horizontal direction so in all these three cases the size should not be more than 0.3 whereas in this case there is a limit minimum size of thundercut should be 0.1 maximum of 0.5 is allowed and it can take any of these three shapes explained as we discussed for external edges here this minus 0.3 is at the horizontal line which tells that the undercut must be horizontal here it is vertically placed which tells that the undercut is permissible only in vertical direction now we have a internal edge with the positive tolerance which tells that there is a material that can be added which we call it as passing by in this uh, standard terminology so you may end up with a filling a material like this or you can end up with a fillet like this and in both the cases for this case it should be maximum of 0.3 whereas in this case minimum of 0.3 to maximum of 1 by 1 is allowed for these two cases again we have one positive and one negative so we may end up with any of these cases up to 0.1 mm fillet radius like this or a chamfer like this on the internal edge up to 0.3 undercut like any of this three cases so these are the commonly used types of edge tolerances if you want more information you can refer to the standards and get more details thank you very much